This is your source for local news in the heartland. This is KTBO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It is 6.50 and it's time for our Workout Wednesdays. And this morning we have Payne Meadowcroft from Anytime Fitness joining us this morning. And today you're going to show us the Traveler's Workout, which is six easy workouts you can do without actually having to go to the gym, correct? Right. All right. And pretty much all you really need is a chair because some of the exercises you don't need a chair and others you will need the chair. Right. Okay. So the first one is a basic push-up. Basic push-up. Right. right. So I guess we're gonna I will get demonstrate that our, here. our model Brian Dukes Ooh. to get on the floor. Okay, so you're gonna make sure that your arms are shoulder width apart. Okay. And then make sure that you keep that flat back to keep your body stable. And, and you're just, just gonna down. perfect. And right. And how there many of these go. do you want to do? We're gonna do twelve to fifteen okay. repetitions. Okay. And those. then afterwards, what are we gonna do? Okay, afterwards we're gonna do a chair dip. So what you're gonna okay. do is you're gonna balance your uh, palms on the edge of the chair. Right. Right. And you're gonna dip. Just straight down, right? Right. And make sure that your elbows are going in. And then for a little bit more of a challenge, if you raise your leg, it's a little more oh. difficult. And what is this working out? This is working your triceps, a little bit of your chest, things okay. like that. And uh, how many reps do you want to do on um, the same? The same. Yeah. Okay. okay. And is it important to do less or more reps when you're doing some sort like exercises like I this? I mean, it all depends. Like if you're doing muscle strength, then you want to do like higher reps, or I'm sorry, lower reps. I like a higher weight, but since we're not using weights, so it's a little different. Okay. But if you want to do like muscle endurance, it's like a lower weight with a more repetition. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. Okay. Interesting. Does. Never knew that. I always wondered. Oh, All right. No. So what's the third exercise? Uh, the third exercise is in and out. It's more of like a folding chair. So if you want to sit your rear like right on the edge. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your knees up to your chest in and out. Like this? Right. And you're going to oh, okay. use your ab muscles to do bring you want me to hold the chair. Yes, yeah, so I feel like I'm going to fly forward here. Yeah. You're going to bring, yeah, use your abs to bring your knees up to your chest. Okay. And if you want to make your body more up to like a C, it might help the stability a little more. Like that? Can you feel it? Is, is this working? Yeah, like I can his feel stomach? it. It's, in yeah, the lower it's, really, it's working your ab muscles. Yeah. Okay. And if you're not Definitely. feeling it, just try and scoot just a little bit forward. Okay. And then you'll be able to feel it. it. Yeah, even <laughs> lower abs there. All right, so what's exercise number four? Okay, this is a standard plank. Okay. And with planks, like progress is always good. So if you can't make the 30 to 45 recommended seconds, then 15, like little sets 15 is always good. Okay. So, so what's what that exactly? A <laughs> plank. Okay. So you're going to get on your arms or your, like the bottom. Like yeah. Like this? Uh, yeah. On your forearms. And you're going to put your forearms oh. on the ground. And you're going to sit. Right. Yeah. Like this. Yes. Yes. And your, your back stays flat, just like a push up. Can and you okay. feel it? It's, it's easier if you like look down and just breathe. What, so what is this working out again? It's working your core muscles. So it's keeping all those muscles really tight and then you're able to get that yeah, full body workout. Yeah, I feel tightening together. Yeah. All right. So cool. we're moving on. And the nice thing about this exercise, I know we're moving really quickly, but it's it's a quick workout before yeah. you know head out anywhere. Okay, right. so number five. Number five. Um, I use this in my step aerobics class um, at Anytime Fitness. What you're going to do is you're going to, it's a step up. So okay. we might have to move the chair oh, a little like bit. This. So you're going to use, um, you're going to pick a leading foot, probably your right, yeah, and you're going to step up. Oh my goodness. And this, oh, step up, right, actually. Step up, and you're going to step back down with the leading foot. <laughs> And then go back Let's up again. Yep, and that's the same amount of repetition, 12 to 15. And then make sure when you're um, doing, like you're switching your leading foot. So first it'll be your right, then okay, it'll be your Okay, so left. then after you do a few, right. then go up on your... Exactly. Excellent. You right. feel that. All I right. Do. Feel it all on your legs. Yeah. And good. our final workout for our six easy travelers workout is what? Oh, um, what is the next one? I forget. Well, <laughs> that's okay. It's early in the morning. It is. I'm so right? sorry. And I'm sure by the time you do the fifth exercise with 12 to 15 you're reps, out. you're going to be totally fine. So, and the nice thing again is you don't have to go to the gym. It's quick and easy. It's something you can write down and put in your suitcase. All Absolutely. you really need is a chair. And I promise the chairs in the hotel room are a lot more sturdier yeah. than this. <laughs> so, thank you so much for coming on. Thank and again, you so if you are interested in trying out this workout, we'll go ahead and post it on our website. Just make sure you go to heartlandconnection.com, click on the neighborhood tab, which is at the top of of our homepage, and if you want to see Peyton, she is at Anytime Fitness in Kirksville.